Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am here with someone who has played Destiny probably far too much. Uh, his real name is Matthew Jeffers, but on Xbox Live and PlayStation with your kid codex. Indeed I am. Is that correct? Right, okay, brilliant. So we're here today to talk about Destiny. Um, typically that's my email going off, but we're, we're, <laughs> if you hear any weird sounds, we'll, we'll just ignore that. So, first off, um, Matt, we'll, are you aware of how much time you've actually spent playing Destiny? Um, roughly, um, probably about two and a half thousand hours, give Sh or take. Shall I give you the, the exact figures? Yeah, please do. Okay, so for yourself and everyone at home, um, listening, watching, or however you're consuming this, maybe it's through Pirate Pay, who knows. PlayStation, you've spent 289 hours on Destiny. So that's one week, five days, an hour and 50 minutes, roughly. It's not, it's, it's a lot, it's not yeah. too bad. Xbox. 2009 hours. Wow. And that includes 122 hours of deleted characters as well. So, why? <sighs> to begin with, I just wanted a new game and kind of stumbled across it. I mean, it wasn't a game I first saw and thought, I want to play that game. It was, you know, it was on sale and I thought, I'll buy it and started playing it. And I kind of wanted to get my brother to play it too, but he never played it. Um, I just kind of fell in love with it. I mean, the story on itself was started off well, mm -hmm. but then kind of got lost. And I was always trying to chase the story to find out what happened. But so were you like aware of like the alpha and betas before? No. Really? Not at all. Okay. I was not a day one player. I started basically when the first DLC, DLC came out. Okay. So that was House of Wolves? It was the Dark Below. Oh yeah, Dark Below. Yeah, of course. Okay, that, that's really interesting because your playtime if you started from day one, probably would be a lot higher. Yeah. I think it's probably worth pointing out, you're not the most played player. Yeah, no, uh, no. <laughs> I did have a look, there's a guy called Gmoney876, who has played 10,423 hours. I'm guessing it's his uh, full-time job. Probably. Well, it's, five, <laughs> it's five times as much as you. Wow. So obviously you, you played that much. I mean, where do you spend your time? On the game, generally. Um, at first it was mostly PvE, so it was like, you know, raiding and chilling out with friends and doing strikes and kind of just gearing up, you know, trying to hit that max light level that's mm -hmm. forever changing with Destiny. Um, but more so now it's PvE, you know, the kind of hardened players and, you know, the, the thirst for the lighthouse has really, mm -hmm. uh, you know, got my taste. So how, I mean, and why do you keep going back to, you know, make sure you're at the max light level you, you I possibly don't know. can be? What, what, what's the hook? It's the, for, me, for me, it's about all about getting the exotics. I'm not too bothered about the light level, but I'm a completionist. And like any okay. game, I, I want to get, I want to get the whole collection. And you know, to start with in Destiny, that was really hard to do because the vault space was just ridiculous. And, you know, they yeah. didn't have the little um, iPad things that were scattered around mm -hmm. the tower and such. That's true. Des Destiny's changed an awful lot since day one. Yeah. Um, so I mean, that's all. That's an awful lot of time you spent on Destiny. Is it, I mean, have you had any other games that you played roughly to that um, sort of level? Or? When The Division came out, um, Destiny was kind of a little bit stale, should we say. Um, yeah. They hadn't done an update in a while and there wasn't really much going on, so played a bit of The Division, but that was on the PlayStation 4. Um, had a couple of buddies on there that said, you know, why don't you play that? You know, and I met those guys through Destiny uh, okay. on the PlayStation, so that's why my hours on the PlayStation aren't as much, is because I uh, mm. had a little break from Destiny for a while. Okay, and The Division was was you've the break <laughs> but you've gone back now i have gone back but i've gone back to xbox as well so oh, have you oh, officially okay. jumped back interesting so out of all, all the time i mean do you regret the time you've spent on destiny maybe on the playstation because you know i could have reinvested those hours on you know making my xbox character <laughs> a little bit better <laughs> okay, so kind of feels like it's a no then yeah no not at all okay that's okay so just to give you an idea of these just over two thousand hours that's the equivalent to a year working. Oh wow! A solid year working. Uh, it's also a rough estimate for learning learning a complex secondary language, such as Chinese or Japanese. <laughs> um, and it's also ninety five days and eighteen hours in total, which, according to NASA, and we have to trust NASA because they've been there, is enough time to travel halfway to Mars or to travel to the Moon and back almost sixteen times. Wow. And in Destiny, I've been to the moon quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, what do you think of how Destiny's evolved? I mean, I know you weren't there from, from day one, started a few months later. 
But even since from when you started up until now, an awful lot has happened. Oh, change. yeah. I mean, how do you feel about those changes and how have Bungie managed to keep not only yourself, but thousands and millions of players still engaged to that game? I mean, a lot a lot of it now is um, kind of, they, 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 I, well, I feel that it's more like um, PvP based. But maybe that's because I'm, um, you know, that's what I've warmed to and got used to. But you know, there's a lot of guys out there that are still playing, you know, the PVE stuff and really enjoying the raids and things. But um, how they changed it is this, you know, everything requires teamwork, you know, and they really bring the community together massively with Destiny. I think that's one of the key fundamentals of Destiny is is how good the community is. So I mean, do you? I mean, you've had comments sort of of here, yeah, um, about why you play. Destiny so much and it's not only yourself a lot of people say oh why are you still playing Destiny because the game's two years old because especially for console players it's really strange to still be playing that same game yeah two years on yeah it is a bit, it is a bit do, strange do you understand why people think it's a bit sort of weird to be addicted to like one game yeah I, yeah and no I mean for the most part if they didn't bring out any DLC and it was just a one game and you know they didn't introduce introduce any kind of new content or you know activities. I, I would say yeah, it's, that is insane to spend. You know, like you said, that guy who spent ten thousand hours on it. Yeah. Even if they didn't update all the content, he'd still be on probably more hours than I am. And you know, at the stage when they first started, there's nowhere near enough content to cover that amount of hours. So yeah, like you said it is a bit. That would be strange, but they do continually update the game. I mean, there was like I said before a dry spell or staleness to yeah. the game, but you know. They're working on it. They're hard. Yeah, that's interesting. Now we've not had any confirmation or, well, nothing really concrete from Bungie on Destiny Two. We know it will come. It's a successful game. They they are working on on the sequel. If you could tell Destiny, sorry, if you could tell Bungie what they should do for Destiny Two, what what would it be? How should they make Destiny Two better than Destiny now? Um. Well, where to begin? Um, <laughs> Thought that might be the case. <laughs> <laughs> they've got, they've done a lot right for me. Um, you know, the game's attractiveness, attractiveness is, you know, it's, it's struck a chord with me, and I definitely think they've done a lot right. I mean, you know, the raids and how they've improved. Like, if you compare, you know, kind of Crota against kind of the Wrath of the Machine, it's like, it's, you know, they're worlds apart. You know, I can, I can solo Crota on my own. It's a, it's a good laugh, but. You know, I, I think the teamwork is really cool in that game. And the Wrath of Machines, you require it. I mean, there, there's the odd guy out there, like the legend himself, who's like some kind of strange, immortal human being who somehow can just do it on his own. But, you know, yeah. you know, for the, us mere mortals, you know, team, team based is the way to do it. So you think it should focus on that? Yeah, but there's, there's other elements like, um, I feel like the weapons are just given to you. You know, they, they brought out these, um, this kind of, new item called the three of coins don't know if you're familiar with it no, no, uh, no. basically you, you pop one of those and there's a cooldown on it and uh, if you kill an ultra or complete a crucible match you have a chance of getting an exotic and okay. I mean they obviously increase the pools of the pool of exotics but you know I could I could literally within a week get every exotic and I felt like you know year one was it took weeks to grind out those exotics and like I said mm -hmm. before as a completionist it was something I you know I, I chased after and now it's kind of just you know same exotic, you know, Crest of Alpha Lupi 20 times, you know, yeah. starting to sell my own stuff, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, gee, a lot of the complaint with Destiny 1 was the story. Um, I mean, it's not confirmed, but there was rumours that before, about six months before Destiny released, Bungie had issues with, with the writers, they had to rewrite the whole story. And from a developer like Bungie, who made such a great story with Halo, the Halo trilogy that they made, they kind of failed a bit with Destiny 1. Yeah. Do you think that's something they should focus on for Destiny 2 or has the original Destiny kind of grown in such a way where, like you said, community is kind of the focus, that it should should really spend their time on community rather than the narrative and the story? Um, for a hardened fan like me, I mean, a lot of the stories in the lore and, you know, they, they don't express that enough in the game. You know, there's yeah. like, you know, the, the thorn and how, the, you know, that came into being and things, but like, it would have been cool to maybe have like, flashback story of like how that came into begin you know being and you had to follow that storyline you know and then you know the new DLC recently you know the Galahorn took its return and you know you had to assemble it and recreate this item and um, yeah. I think if, you know we go back to like how we can make the game better those types of missions you know mix with elements of like how divisions you know craft your weapon 
but maybe not just a mission, like you have to gather items as well, and you know, you, you've got skill levels, kind of like the division, how yeah. you kind of level up to a certain stage where you can craft better stuff. I think that would be quite cool, and you know, different roles, and just mm. change the dynamic a bit. I think things are a bit too easy in terms of getting rewards. Yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good. Well, thank you very much for your time. That's right. That's all the, the time we've got for today. Okay. Um, but we you never know, we might bring you back for Destiny too. Cool, yeah, that'd be great. Brilliant. Cheers, thanks.